Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here. Today I'm doing a quick Steam Deck guide, or more like providing 10 tips for new Steam Deck owners. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, I've had the Steam Deck for the last two weeks and it's absolutely an awesome handheld. It's a powerhouse that can play most of the AAA games, plus it's also a king of emulation. In the future, uh, in the next couple of days, I'm doing of course an emulation uh, video as well, installing Emu Deck and Emulation Station 2. So today I'm just providing you with uh, quick tips or quick guide for the new Steam Deck owners. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, of course, once you start uh, your device on, it gets you to the interface. And then here you see uh, most of the games that you play from your Steam library. And when you click on the Steam button here, it brings up your menu. Of course, from here, you can actually uh, navigate through your settings uh, library you can access your steam library and as you see here you can have your favorites installed uh, all games um, the games that are great on steam deck as well and of course you can make collections once you start the emulation uh, when you click on the steam button again here you can actually first need to go to settings and then try to set up your uh, storage preference because sometimes when you download a game it automatically downloads it on the internal memory so make sure to go to um, storage as you see here and then you can choose either between your eMMC uh, internal or you can choose, uh, you can navigate with um, Y or X to make it your preferred uh, download destination. I personally, you know, make it on the micro SD card because I purchased the 64 gigabyte model, the basic one, and I also had 512 gigabytes uh, Samsung Evo Select micro SD card here. So, make sure to set up your storage preference or destination. And then the second thing you have to think about is actually your FPS, uh, frames per second. Because when you are sometimes in a game, which is really demanding, make sure to adjust your FPS settings. Of course, when I'm talking about that, you can go to your uh, these three dots here. This is the quick access button or the quick settings button as you see you can come here to go and you can go to performance and in performance you can actually set up your preferred FPS frames per second this is the basic view I just have a number here on the top uh, left uh, you can actually go to advanced view and then from the advanced view you can set up your uh, user per game profile. You can actually customize per game settings as well. Um, normally I keep it on 60. If the game is demanding, you can actually go down to 40 as well. Uh, you can even, you know, uh, customize your battery life, your, uh, you know, shading, you know, all your preferred um, performance customization. Okay, this comes from the performance part. Quick settings here, of course, this is, you know, completely easy. And then you can go back. Okay, um, make sure sometimes if you have to, if you want to even uh, change your control order, you can also go to the quick setting button here, the three dots. And then you can go to performance. And then you can go to, I think it was, oh sorry, not in the performance, quick settings, controller. You can also, you know, navigate here as well. But you can, what you can also do is when, when you're in this, you know, if you want to start a game, 
for example you can even come here you know attach you know you know external controller or change any controller settings here so that's completely doable here okay then the next thing you have to know about uh, the Steam Deck is to uh, switch between the let's say the game mode and desktop mode this is the, the game mode as you see if you want to go to the desktop mode click on the steam button and then navigate down to power and then from power you can choose switch to desktop mode once you click on it it will launch the desktop mode okay so as you see here it's really important for you to do that because uh, it will allow you to do or to check for updates uh, because updates normally work in the desktop mode um, I've tried doing updates or checking for updates in the game mode sometimes it shows the device is up to date or there are no updates and then right away when I switch to the desktop mode you can go to this part here see there's actually an arrow here which means there's an update so you can click on it as you see it's fetching updates so that means you have to do uh, manual updates you know every couple of days depends on you know how often you play on your steam deck and then on top here you just click on update all okay so now it's updating as you see and then when it's done you know it, it says up to date and then you can close it just remember that uh, the trackpad functions as a mouse here and then your right click is your left trigger L2 and your left click is actually your right trigger the R2 so it's completely reversed okay I think um, there are a couple of more settings I would like to show you but I'll try to keep my videos as usual you know less than eight minutes so I'm going to stop here as part one and then right away after this video I'm going to make part two which I will talk about a couple of more tips for you as well thank you so much for watching I hope you liked the video feel free to share and subscribe thank you so much guys and see you soon